5th October 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Dabdada Madhupan Sweet children, have all relationship with the Father and your bondages will end. Maya ties you in bondage whereas the Father liberates you from bondage. Question, who is said to be free from bondage? What is the way to become free from bondage? Answer, free from bondage means bodiless bodies or bodily relationships should not pull your intellects to them. There is bondage in body consciousness. Become soul conscious and all your bondages will end. To die alive is to become free from bondage. It should remain in your intellects that it is now the final period and that the play is about to end. We are going to our father's home and so we will become free from bondage. Song Storms and hurricanes can do nothing to those whose companion is God. Om um, Shanti The father sits here and explains to your children. There are so many children here and so the father should surely be unlimited. The father explains to you. It is said in Kapral Shababa. Brahma is also called Baba. Vishnu and Shankar would not be called Baba. Shiv is always called Baba. The image of Shiv is separate from the image of Shankar. The song says salutations to Shiv. It is then said, you are the mother and father. It is easy to explain that only incorporeal Shiv can truly be called the father. He is the father of all souls. Shankar and Vishnu are not incorporeal. Shiva is called incorporeal. There are the images of all of them in the temples. There are so many images on the path of devotion. The highest on high image is of Shivava. Then there are the images of Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. Each of them has a form. Jagadamba and Jagatpita also have forms. Lakshmi and Narayan also have corporeal forms, whereas God alone is incorporeal. However, by calling him just God, people have become confused. When you ask them what their relationship with God is, they would say that he is the Father. Therefore, you have to prove that he is God the Father. The Father is the Creator and so the Mother is also needed. How can the father create the world without the mother? When will that father come? Everyone calls out, O purifier of the impure, come. The whole world is now impure. It is only when it is impure that he would come and purify it. This proves that the father definitely has to come into the impure world, but according to the drama, no one is able to understand this. It is only when they don't understand that the father comes and explains. The father sits here and explains to your children. Knowledge and devotion are only remembered in Bharat. Then they also speak of the day of Brahma and the night of Brahma. There is extreme darkness at night. It is remembered that when the Sadhguru gave the ointment of knowledge, all the darkness of ignorance was dispelled. Human beings have so much ignorance that they don't even know the Father. There is no other ignorance such as thus. Even after seeing Supreme Father, O oh God, the Father, if they don't know Him, there is no greater ignorance than thus. When children say Baba and then say that they don't know His occupation, name or form, they are called foolish senseless ones. The mystic of the people of Bharat is that they call him the father and yet they don't know him. They sing, O oh God, the father, come and purify the impure, liberate us from sorrow, remove our sorrow and give us the happiness. The father only comes once. You know this number wise. Some don't understand 
that they are to claim their full inheritance from the father. They don't have the full introduction of the father. And they therefore ask, what can I do? I have bondages. If you know how to die alive, your bondages will end. When a person suddenly dies, he is liberated from his bondages. Now, everyone's bondages are going to end. You have to become free from bondage that is bodiless while alive. The father says, forget the bondages of your bodies, etc. Consider yourselves to be souls and remember me, your father. However, you feel it to be a bondage when you become body conscious. You then say, how can I become free? The father says, you may live at home with your families, but it should remain in your intellect that you have to return home. When a play is about to end, the actors become detached from the play. While playing their parts, their intellects are aware that a short time remains and that after playing their parts, they will return home. You too have to keep it in your intellects that it is now the end. We are now going into divine relationships. While living in this old world, it should remain in your intellect that you are going to the Father. You sing, we will send ourselves to you. We will belong to you while we are alive. We will forget our bodies and all bodily relationships and have a relationship with you alone. Since you have that relationship, remember him and love him. Connect your intellects in yoga to the Father, your beloved. And the rose that has covered, you will be removed. Yoga has been remembered. All other yoga are physical. You have yoga with your maternal and paternal uncles, gurus and sons, etc. The father says, remove your yoga from all of them and remember me alone. Have yoga with me alone. Do not become body conscious. While acting through your bodies, have the faith that you are playing your part. It is now the end of this old world and we now have to return home. You have to go beyond bodies and all bodily relationships. Talk to yourselves in this way. You now have to go to the father. Some have the bondages of a wife. Some have the bondages of a husband. And some have a bondage of someone else. Baba shows you many methods. Tell them we have to become pure and definitely make Bharat pure. We became pure and so with our bodies, minds and wealth. However, first of all, you have to become dusters of attachment. If you are a dustwar of attachment, write a letter to the government and they also cooperate you. Tell them God speaks, lust is the greatest enemy. We want to conquer it and become pure. The father's orders are become pure and you will become the masters of heaven. We have had visions of destruction and establishment. They are now causing obstacles to us for becoming pure and beat us. We are doing true service of Bharat. Now give us Aslam. However, you have to be True dusters of attachment. Sannyasis leave their homes and families. Here, you have to live with your families and become dusters of attachment. The path of the sannyasis is separate. Human beings say, while we live at home with our families, give us such knowledge that we can attain liberation and liberation in life just as King Janak did. You are now receiving that knowledge. Baba says, this one is my wife and I create people through his mouth. He says thus through the mouth of Prajapita Brahma. Sri Baba says to you, you are my grandchildren. This one then says, you became my children and then became Sri Baba's grandchildren. You receive the inheritance from him. No human being can give you the inheritance of heaven. Only the incorporeal gives you that. So, Devotion is separate from knowledge. In devotion, the read the Vedas and scriptures have sacred fires. Do tapasya, 
make donations and perform charity there are a lot of expenses and those all of those are the paraphernalia of the path of devotion devotion begins at the copper age when deities go on to the path of sin and become impure they can no longer have the names deities because deities are completely viceless when they go on to the path of sin they become vicious so it would be said those of the deity relation became impure by going on to the path of sin impure ones cannot be called deities and thus is why they are called hindus they have used the name arya means reformed ones in the vedas and scriptures the name arya refers to the land of bharat now where did that word come from the word arya doesn't exist in the golden age they say 3000 years before christ the deities in bharat were very sensible and then when those same deities became vicious in the copper age they were called an arya means unreformed ones someone said arya and the name continued just as one person said and wrote god shri krishna speaks and everyone began to believe that although they sing salutations to shiv and you are the mother and father they don't know how he becomes the mother and father or when he creates his creation he must surely create it at the beginning of the world when would it be the beginning of the world the golden age or the confluence age the father doesn't come in the golden age lakshmi and narayan come at the beginning of the golden age who made them into the masters of the golden age he doesn't even come in the iron age this is the confluence age of the cycle the father says i come at the confluence age of every cycle when all souls have become impure and the world has become old the father comes when the cycle of the drama is ending your children have to be very clever and you also have to embed divine virtues they are now holding a conference about the benefits of studying the vedas and why one should study the vedas they won't be able to come to any solution and they will then have the same type of conference next year they sit down to solve something but nothing is solved preparations for destruction continue to be made they also continue to manufacture bombs it is now the iron age on the children know those things the things you say are unique you know that human beings cannot grant liberation or salvation to human beings the purifier is remembered so why do they not consider themselves to be impure this is an impure world an ocean of poison not everyone can become the boatman your children have not yet received that power to be able to explain fully you have not yet become that clever you don't even have yoga even now you can't to cry like little children you are unable to tolerate the storms of maya there is a lot of body consciousness you don't become soul conscious baba repeatedly tells you consider yourselves to be souls we now have to return home all the actors are playing their own parts they will shed their bodies and return home you just have to observe as the touch observers why do you have attachment to bodily relationships and to your bodies you don't become bodiless so your sins are not being absolved if you can't remember the father your mercury of happiness will rise shri baba is teaching us and we will then become deities and so there should be limitless happiness you know that when the people of parth were in happiness all the rest were in the land of nirvana the land of peace there are now so many millions of human beings you are now making effort to attain liberation in life all the rest will return home the old world has to be made new only the father would make it new
the sampling is being planted. Thus is the sampling of divine flowers. You are becoming flowers from thrones. When the garden is completely ready, this forest of thrones will be destroyed. It has to be set ablaze. We will then go to the garden of flowers. Why should you not follow Mama and Baba? It is remembered. Follow the mother and father. You know that Mama and Baba will become Lakshmi and Narayan. They are the ones who have taken 84 births. The same applies to you. Their parts are the main ones. It is explained to you so much and yet your body consciousness doesn't break. My husband, my child, oh, but they are old relationships of the old world. Mine is one Shibaba and none other. It is very difficult for you to finish your attachment to all bodily beings. The father understands when it appears to be very difficult for someone's attachment to break. His or her face is seen to be like that. Kumaris became very good helpers. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Baptada. The spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says, Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point, remove your attachment from everything, including your body, and make full effort to become bodiless. Observe as a detached observer the part of every actor. Become free from bondage. Second point, go beyond this old world. Talk to yourselves. I now have to return home. It is now the end of the old world. My path has now come to an end. Blessing. May you be an embodiment of attainment and experience, completion by becoming full of all the treasures. Explanation. When it is the full moon, that fullness is a sign of its completion, for it will not grow any bigger than that. Its fullness is that much. There would be no more growth. In the same way, when your children are full of knowledge, yoga, dharna, and service, that is, when you are full of all treasures, this fullness is called completion. Because such full souls are embodiments of attainment, they are also constantly close in their stage. Slogan To attain total success with your divine intellect is to become an embodiment of success. Om Shanti